Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we'll discuss about the deferred annuity. So pero yung focus natin is how to find the period of deferral. So when say deferred annuity, so this is an annuity that does not begin until a given time interval has passed. So like for example, kumuha tayo ng appliances, good for one year. Pero ang start ng pagbabayad mo is uh, after three months. Kung ba may certain period na hindi ka muna magbabayad. So that is uh, deferred annuity. O halimbawa, uh, umutang ka ng pera, no? nag-loan ka sa banko. Pero ang start ng uh, pagkaltas, no? let's say kung ano yan, salary deduction, ang start ng deduction sa salary mo ay magsisimula pa kung monthly ka ang pagbabayad mo, simula pa ng uh, halimbawa after 3 months. So that is parang in deferred annuity, merong certain period na hindi ka muna magbabayad. Alright? When you say period of deferral, so that is the time between the purchase of an annuity and the start of the payments for the deferred annuity. Okay? So, halimbawa, meron tayong annual payments of 2,500 for 24 years that will start 12 years from now. So, makikita nyo yung mga keyword, no? So, for 24 years na pagbabayad ng annual payments na 2,500, pero mag-start yung payment up uh, 12 years, no? Start ng 12, uh, 12 years, after 12 years. So, kung titignan natin sa cash flow natin, okay, kung may, okay, tingnan natin yung diagram niya. So, meron tayong year 1, year 2, year 3 since annual, after year 11, year 12 to year 24. Ngayon, uh, mag-start ka ng pagbabayad ng 2,500 after 12 years, no? Start ng 12 years pala, okay? So, therefore, itong period na to, okay, simula year 1 to year 11, ito ay tinatawag natin na period of deferral. So, yan yung sinasabi ko kanina. Now, merong uh, certain period na hindi ka muna magbabayad. So, that is, so ang tawag natin dito is period of deferral. So, yan yung focus natin sa video lesson na to. To find the period of deferral, so, ng iba't ibang cases. Okay. Find the period of deferral in each of the following deferred annuity problems. So, first, we have monthly payments of 2,000 for 5 years. will start at 7 months from now. So, tingnan natin yung mga clue natin o yung mga key natin para makuha agad natin yung period of deferral. So, by the way, uh, kapag nag-solve na tayo ng problem, uh, we represent period of deferral as letter K. Okay? And then, meron tayong monthly. So, monthly payment ng 2,000 for 5 years. No? Uh, limang taon na pagbayad ng monthly payments na 2,000, pero mag-start ka magbayad 7 months from now. So, kung titingnan natin yung cash flow natin, so that will be uh, ibig sabihin, meron kang anim na period na hindi ka nagbayad. Okay? Hindi ka muna nagbayad. So, therefore, yung period of deferral natin is 6 periods or 6 months. Okay? Pangalawa, annual payment of 8,000 for 12, 12 years that will start 5 years from now. So, 12 years, no? Na annual payments of 8,000. So, Five, 5 years from now, and then annual payments. So, isang beses sa isang taon. So, ilang period of deferral? That is, 4 periods or 4 years. Kasi, mag-start siya magbayad 5 years, no? At the 5 years. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang 4 na taon na hindi muna siya nagbayad ng 8,000. So, therefore, yung 4 na taon na yun, ang tinatawag natin, uh, period of deferral. Another, quarterly payments of 5,000 for 8 years that will start 2 years from now. 
So, ano yung mga keyword natin? So, meron tayong 2 years from now and quarterly payments. So, pag titignan natin, no, sa isang taon, meron tayong, uh, uh, ibig sabihin, sa loob ng isang taon, apat na beses. No? Kasi since, uh, every 3 months kapag quarterly, right? So, ibig sabihin sa year 1 and year 2. So, sa year 1, meron tayong apat, apat na beses ng pagbabayad. Kasi tat, uh, quarterly. So, and then, mag-start siya magbayad ng 2 years from now, sa loob ng 8 taon. Quarterly ang pagbabayad. So, ibig sabihin, dito siya mag-start. Ngayon, ilang uh, periods, no, ilang periods yung hindi siya nagbayad. So, ito yung, tandaan nyo, class, ha, ito ay naka-highlight for year 1 at ito ay for year 2. Para mapakita ko lang sa inyo, makita nyo na sa uh, isang taon, Ilan? Apat na beses kapag quarterly. Okay? Kasi every three months yan. So, kung mag-start siya ng January, so, March to, June, then September, no? And then December to. So, every three months yung pagbabayad. So, ang tanong ngayon, ilan yung period of deferral? Kasi mag-start siya dito, no? Start two years. So, dito siya mag-start. A quarterly payment. So, ilang period of deferral? So, bibilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ibig sabihin may 7 uh, periods na quarterly payments na hindi mo na siya nagbayad. And that is 7 quarters or 7 periods. Question number 4. Semi-annual payments of 60,000 for 10 years that will start 5 years from now. Okay, ibig sabihin ng semi-annual payment, no, 5 years from now, and then semi-annual payments, dalawang beses sa isang taon. Okay, so dalawang beses siyang magbayad sa isang taon ng 60,000 sa loob ng 10 taon. Pero, mag-start siya magbayad 5 years from now. So, tingnan natin. Okay, so year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4, year 5, and so on. Okay, ngayon class, mag-start siya magbayad sa year 5. Okay, 5 years from now. And then, ilang beses sa isang taon siya dapat magbayad? Dalawa, kasi semi-annual payments, no? Yung mode of payments niya. Dalawang beses. So, kung dito siya mag-start, sa pang limang taon siya mag-start magbayad, Ilang period of deferral? So, bibilangin nyo lang. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is 9. Minsan class, ang shortcut dito, kapag kukuha tayo ng period of deferral, semi-annual yan, ba? And then, 5 years. So, ibig sabihin, sa isang taon, dalawa. So, 2 times 5, that is 10. Bawasan nyo lang ng isa. Okay? So, the answer is, 9 periods or 9 semi-annual intervals. So, kagay sa uh, balikan natin yung example number 3. So, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. So, para madali nyo rin makuha yung period of deferral. So, quarterly. So, quarterly, ibig sabihin 4. Tama? And then, 2 years. Okay? 2 years from now. So, dalawang taon. 4 times 2, that is 8. So, bawas, bawasan nyo lang ng isa. The answer is 7 periods. So, yan, isa rin yung way para mabilis nyo makuha yung period of deferral. Next, uh, last example, payments of 3,000 every 2 years for 10 years starting at the end of 6 years. So, tingnan natin yung cash flow or yung diagram natin. So, at the end of 6 years, then every 2 years lang yung pagbabayad ng 3,000. So, year 1, year 2, 3, year 4, year 5, and year 6. So, sa loob ng 10 taon, no? So, ibig sabihin sa year 2 lang siya unang magbaba. Yeah, every 2 years daw siya magbabayad eh. So, year 4. Pero, ang start ng payment niya at the end of 6 years. So, dito siya mag-start. So, ilang, every, ilang tig to 2 years, no? Every, ilang tig to 2 years na hindi muna siya nagbayad. So, meron tayong isa, dalawa. So, therefore, that it is 2 periods or 2 year intervals ang period of deferral niya. Okay? So, that is how to find period of deferral. 
So, for the different cases in uh, different annuity problems. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.